Every morning, I start with U-Beauty Resurfacing Compound. This is a product over a decade in the making. I was suffering from cosmetic confusion and I was using 13 products a day, twice a day. And on some days, I'd add a couple just in case. It was ridiculous and I was sick of it. I knew I had to find a better way and I did. I developed the resurfacing compound with one of the top medical grade labs in Italy. This is your toner, your glycolic hyaluronic acid, your vitamins A, C, E, and your multi-hydroxies. So that's about six or seven products that I've replaced. And now look at my routine. So simple. In order for all the different functions and the actions to take place, you gotta let it dry. Right, now that my skin is nice and dry, the resurfacing compound is literally a taut shield over your face. That's what all the editors are calling it. And you can feel the immediate tightening, smoothing. It resurfaces your skin texture, refines your pores, brightens, tightens, tones, and defends. And now I need to moisturize. My favorite moisturizer is Augustina Spotter's Rich Cream. Just a couple of pumps. And as with anything you put on your face, always massage outwards and upwards. This is my eye cream, Clay de Peau Eye Cream Supreme. I love it and it comes with a free eye roller. So the eye area does not have any sebaceous glands, which are the oil glands that kind of provide your skin with some sort of protection with your own natural oils. So you wanna be really gentle around the eye area. And in the mornings, rolling is so important. I know you always ask like, should I roll in the day? Should I roll at night? I think daytime is more important when you wake up because there's fluid that gets trapped there because as we age, our vascular function is not as great as it should be as like a five-year-old. And so you just want to help break up that fluid that's kind of trapped there from any vascular leakage in our face. And every morning when I do my routine and I'm reading your comments on Instagram, thousands of people who have bought you beauty resurfacing compound, it makes me feel so good to know that you've all also simplified your lives and you're telling me that your skin looks better than ever, you're using less, but we're doing so much more for your skin, and that makes me really happy. So U-Beauty was really, how do I say this, it was something in my head for years and years and I didn't know how to actually take it to fruition and I by chance was sitting having drinks with a friend at dinner and Skip and Katie were in town and they were like, what are you doing with your life? And I was traveling the world with Tori Birch at the time and I'm like, I'm sick of it, I want to do something of my own. It turned out we were in LA at the same time, two weeks later, the exact same hotel and we sat down and they already had this prototype of a product that, of this technology, the yeah. Siren Capsule. They're like, test this out, tell us what you think. And I tried it and I was like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah. So we just started working and literally we didn't, we didn't even have you beauty in mind. It was just like, I was sick of using 13 products a day, twice a day. I wanted to simplify everything. I was like sick of everyone yelling at me on trips because I would have a carry-on with just. <laughs> so now I have now I have a suitcase of just bags and one of yeah. just shoes. And skincare is in my handbag. But I said I didn't just want to have another product. I wanted to have a message. I want this to be a community, a movement where we're truly inclusive. I mean, I want to include the boomers. I want to <laughs> right. I want to include men. I because I I'm talk. I watch how on Instagram in a lot of mags they're like, oh, we're so inclusive. Look at all our models. And I'm like they all look the same, they're just different colors of the rainbow. That's not inclusivity. I don't see anyone who's like 65, I don't see a male, I don't see a, a tranny, I don't see a teenager, I don't see you know different sizes. How about a woman who's like a size 18 who's just as beautiful as a girl who's size zero? And so we took that into consideration and I reached out to my huge network of friends. You beauty's really for everyone. And then we had all these names. And then so Katie had this you know, she had this name hidden away that she always wanted to do. I wanted to do it a while ago and it's yeah. like, so do it yourself. Yeah, don't give it to anybody else. Yeah. Together. She was like, you know, I've always wanted to call something you beauty and it just hit me. I was like, oh my God. That's it. That's the message, like empowering you, taking the power away from like 
Instagram, from Photoshop, from Facetune, from K Beauty, J Beauty, C Beauty, BB Cream, all this crap that was in our heads, all this cosmetic confusion. I'm like, it just boils down to you. It's about the user. It compasses everyone. And then I was on a live at 21 days exactly. I was doing my live, da da da. I get off and I get a phone call and Skip's like, sold out, sold out. Like as if he's on HSA. Yeah, You're like, sold you out. out, you sold out. It was great, oh, you're Skip, done. Man. And I go, that's a funny it. joke, ha ha. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, I'm really busy, you know, I have another meeting, bye. And he's like, no, 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 we sold out. And Caroline gets on, she was like, I know, she was like, no, no, we're sold out. And I'm like, he goes, he goes out, oversold. They took it all, they took it all, sold out. It was so surreal. I was sitting in my office going, oh my God, now what? And then he's like, I'm gonna order more. <laughs> I didn't have to come out with a product, but I saw a white space. I saw there was something missing. I saw that everyone else was suffering from the same cosmetic confusion as me, and I saw that we were all spending so much time putting layers and layers of products on our faces, and they weren't still weren't happy. I mean, I looked fine, but I just felt like there had to be a better way. Why did it take 13 products to make me feel like my skin looked good? And then after I would put on the products, every other day I would have to use something really invasive to kind of like get all those products off of me because imagine weighing your skin down with layers and layers and layers of chemicals. So it wasn't like we needed more products. I, in my head I felt like we just need less products but that worked better for us. Use less, but do more. We started doing that and after nine formulations, it, I wanted to make sure it was truly like great for people with rosacea, myself. I had friends who were super reactionary. They had eczema, they were allergic to this and that and fragrance, natural fragrance, who knew? And so we were eliminating so many different ingredients to the, like we eliminated over 1400 ingredients. And so we're under strict EU guidelines because our lab is in Italy. You know, I think we probably could have stopped at six formulations but I wanted it to be perfect or I wasn't gonna do it. I just finished a huge meeting. I was super nervous about it, but it went really well and I'm gonna go back to the hotel. It was a long day, but this is what happens in New York. You know, I get more done here in one day than I do in three days anywhere else in the world. <laughs> Everything moves really fast. Super productive day though, no complaints. And now I'm just looking forward to going to bed. Like I cannot wait to take off all this makeup and slather on You Beauty. That's what I'm dreaming of right now. Is to put on my You Beauty, put on my pajamas and just lay down and go to bed. And of course, check my Instagram. Thanks for spending the day with me. I am exhausted. I can't wait to go to bed, but I'm really excited about what's to come. Good night.